What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the controversy kind of between Xbox and PlayStation when it comes to Call of Duty right now. And of course, I'm sure most of you have heard about this, but in case you have not, uh, of course, you know, uh, Microsoft purchased Activision and Blizzard back in January of this year for about $70 billion. And then Phil Spencer said he was going to make sure that, you know, Call of Duty stayed on PlayStation. Because a lot of people thought at that point that Call of Duty may end up becoming a Xbox exclusive. And at that point, he said that was not the case, they had, that he wanted it to stay on PlayStation, that people enjoyed playing it on PlayStation. He had no plan to kind of get rid of it. He had made some comments later on, a couple months after that, saying that he had talked with the CEO of Sony, uh, saying that uh, him and, and the CEO, which is, of course, Jim Ryan, have talked about it and that the game was going to stay on PlayStation even after the contracts ran out. Well, as of yesterday, Jim Ryan, the CEO, over at PlayStation said that is not the case. And he said even after the contracts run out, what he understands is Call of Duty pretty much is going to be on PlayStation for the next three games. So this year's game, Modern Warfare 2, and then the two titles after that. We all know next year we're not going to have, uh, you know, the Black Ops game. This Modern Warfare game is going to last for two years as far as we know because that's kind of what Activision has been talking about. So you're looking at two years with this game and then another two years. So that would be four years from now that Sony and uh, PlayStation and, and the Call of Duty contract will be over. And for what his understanding is, is kind of that he wasn't really happy with the way that, you know, Xbox is handling this, the way Phil Spencer says, you know, that it's been handled and they're going to plan on continuing to have the game on PlayStation because he says from his understanding, after those three years are up, the contract's up. Now, will they renegotiate the contract? I think a lot of people are assuming they would. I think it would be odd uh, if they took Call of Duty off PlayStation now after all of these years. But at the same time, if you look at it kind of from Microsoft, uh, Microsoft's perspective, you just spent $70 billion. Um, you're probably going to want to get something out of that. And placing Call of Duty as a Xbox exclusive would definitely be something I think they may entertain the idea of. I'm not sure if they will. I think it would hurt Call of Duty sales overall. Activision may not be a big fan of this, but really, I don't know if they're really going to have a say in it now since Microsoft owns them. Because there's a lot of people that play on PlayStation. But if this becomes a Xbox exclusive, you're looking at Call of Duty only being playable on Xbox and on PC. Now, if you're like myself, you have both new gen consoles. It's really not that big of a deal, but I understand a lot of you out there may not be able to get a new gen console. You may not be able to afford both, and that's perfectly understandable. And that is kind of a, I think, the frustration that uh, Sony is kind of talking about right now because they want everyone to be able to play no matter what platform they're on. You guys know if you've watched the channel for a while, I hate exclusive stuff. I wish every game was on every you know thing available so you could play it on no matter what you're playing. If you're even playing on your phone, you could play a game. I think that's the way gaming should be. I'm hoping it's going to go like that in the future, but we're going to kind of have to wait and see what Xbox does because there could be some big changes if they decide to go with Call of Duty as an exclusive. Then you start seeing all these different companies being bought by Sony and Xbox, and it may be a back and forth of who gets what game. So we'll kind of have to wait and see. But leave me, get, leave me a comment with your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do you think it will stay uh, you know, on all platforms or will end up being an Xbox exclusive down the road. Now, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.